everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cleaning video it has been a minute and it is time to just get things in order this is just an everyday mom life clean with me just checking off things from my to-do list that need it to get done around the house i'd also like to thank narwhal for sponsoring a portion of today's video what is on your cleaning checklist for today i am having one of those days where i kind of just walk around to each room and see what needs to be done sometimes when i just feel like overly not just overstimulated but just have a lot on my mind i don't even know where to start i just go into each room and start doing without even thinking about it always starting with putting things back where they belong so that's what we're doing first in here Now that all the random stuff is put away, I am just going to head over to the sink area, put some of those dishes away. We're also going to empty the trash because I noticed that was full and then get started on the dishes. Did you ever forget to put the trash out for the trash trucks? We forgot this week. It just completely slipped our mind. We as in Chris, because he always does it and he always, you know, takes care of everything like that. But we just completely forgot this week and now we have like a double load of trash and it's like a hot mess because, you know, as a large family, we go through a lot of trash. So we have lots of trash sitting outside waiting for Monday. Once I put the new trash bags in, I always like to put some essential oils in. Today I'm just doing lemon so that every time you open the trash, it doesn't smell as bad. Um, and then now I'm just loading the dishwasher and hand washing anything that needs to be washed. The thing about cleaning is that once you get started, you will keep going, which is nice because things need to get done and you want your home to be clean and tidy, not to mention germs. You want the germs cleaned up too, especially with back to school and all of that. But the lighting on my camera here, you can't even see how dirty the sink is, which is nice, but also annoying at the same time because I am scrubbing off like gook and things that are stuck on in the sink. But I noticed that the sink was dirty, so I'm just scrubbing that down and then we will start with the counters, just wiping everything down. Everything needed a good wipe, you know, just from like making meals throughout the day and all of that. Mm -hmm. 
in my night routine and nighttime cleaning routine, I always fill all of like the waters in our house. So I fill the coffee tank, I fill the ice maker, fill the kids' waters for bed, fill the mop water, all of that um, in our little narwhal robot vacuum. So when I see something throughout the day that needs a refill, I will try to do it just to take away from having to do it during the night and just make our night routine even smoother. So that's what I'm doing is refilling the waters as I clean that area. So before we get into the rest of this video, I would like to thank Narwhal for sponsoring this portion of today's Clean With Me. The Frio is the best robot mop, also equipped with powerful vacuuming. The Frio thinks and cleans for you thoroughly from sensing the dirt, hard scrubbing the floors, washing mops, and even changing water all by itself for ultimate cleanliness. So it vacuums and mops, wet and dry waste are separated, which I'll show you a little bit later, but it's huge because you don't have like dirt and stuff from the floor mixed in with the mop. And it's also the world's first microfiber triangular mop and it's super quiet that I can even run it during nap time. The Narwhal Frio has the world's first dirt sense, so you can sense and remop a dirty area. It's powered by sensor arrays and algorithms, so you can mop and wash until it's clean, and it automatically will remop any area and automatically wash the mop until the floor meets your desired level of cleanliness. So it's deep cleaning made easy, and the dirt sense ensures that every inch of your home is left clean and fresh while you sit back and relax. The auto mop washing with dirt sense automatically washes dirty pads until they're clean with smart water and the mop dirtiness sensors. It even has auto water exchange, which we are looking into for our home so we don't have to worry about filling water tanks. You actually just can connect it to a water line, so definitely something to look into. It also has an auto cleaning solution dispensing, so the detergent automatically mixes. It even has electromagnetic and air valves to shore stable water flow and avoid leakage. It has the first self-test system to assist in proper usage. There's always fresh water to keep germs away and a safe water supply for mopping the whole house. So you saw the LCD screen and I love that, but I also love that it has an app that we can mop our entire house and map it all out and right now we're putting in a little area that we want to clean specifically and i'm just going to show you how that's mapped out and what that looks like in real life so we spilled some cereal here which is a frequent thing that spills on our floor with four kids and i'm just going to show you how great the narwhal frio did picking it up what's cool about this as well as that the mop can detect if it's too dirty to keep cleaning and it'll go back to the station and just clean itself and come right back to finish the job and plus look how beautiful and shiny the floors are it honestly is so powerful with the spinning and the scrubbing it does such an amazing job not only vacuuming but also mopping I also wanted to show you like a toy in the middle of the floor to show you how it avoids stuff like that because that's also a frequent thing we have our toys up in the middle of the floor. So I love that it will detect the toy and just mop around it, still leaving it super clean minus this spot that the toy is in. So here's a little tour of our all-in-one station. Here is my dirty water, and yes, it's been even worse than that before, and we use this quite often, but we have a very high-traffic house. or the house in the neighborhood that all the kids come to play, which I love, but our floors need a lot of love. This is the cleaning solution. just tucks right in here. so easy. Filling my tank with fresh water, and like I said, if you can connect it to a water line, that'd be amazing. And let me show you the dustbin, too. Like, honestly... This thing is amazing and has made our cleaning so much easier. We even have it on like an auto to clean at night once we are upstairs for the evening. We set it for around 8.30 p.m. So be sure to check out Narwhal. I will have everything linked down below. You can also search Narwhal Frio in Google or Amazon. 
So again, be sure to check out Narwhal. I'll have everything linked down below. They are having a huge fall sale right now with a huge discount, so you definitely don't want to miss it. So while Narwhal is cleaning in the background, I'm just putting some essential oils in the diffuser. My sister came over and was like, wow, it smells like fall in here. So I just did a little bit of Thieves essential oil and a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm also going to make some new cleaner. So I just fill my bottle up with warm water. I put a cap full of Thieves cleaner in it and then add whatever essential oils that I want. So I actually did two capfuls of Thieves cleaner in each this time because I also wanted to use this spray as an oven degreaser, which is what's so great about it is that you can use it on pretty much anything. So that's what I'll be doing next. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh Another little tip is when you don't know where to start and after you're done like just putting everything where it belongs just take it space by space so you saw like I literally started over by the sink and I'm slowly going around the kitchen and taking it from there. Not that it's even that terribly messy, things are just dirty and need to be wiped down but the day that I had before filming this I was filming another video and cooking and just doing like mom life stuff so even though the house isn't god awful, it's still like there's just a lot on my mind and I have other things that I was thinking about. So to just have a mindless cleaning experience is actually very like therapeutic to wipe everything down, get everything nice and clean, especially the inside of this oven. I've been putting that off and it just needed to get done. First, I'm using my Thieves spray. Like I said, it acts as a degreaser when you use two capfuls. So I'm letting that sit for a couple seconds, wiping that down, and then I use a magic eraser after, and that kind of just gets like the rest of the like grease buildup from the glass, and I find that that works really well every time. But I just I want to like give you tips and tricks so that cleaning and homemaking in general doesn't feel overwhelming, that you can make it enjoyable, and just some tips on where to start when you feel like you don't know what to do. The door basically looks brand new so I'm happy with how that came out. I'm just taking the racks out. That top one up there doesn't come out so I have to leave it in. It's really bizarre actually. Um, and just wiping inside of there. If I had like my little handheld vacuum I would probably just vacuum it but I don't, I left it at the bay and I didn't feel like changing the top to my other one. So I'm just wiping it down and like catching all the crumbs in my hand. When did we start losing and stop giving? I remember I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind is lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 one only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in my heart. Again, just making our way through the kitchen. Also, I talked about how I was filming a video earlier and just doing other stuff. I finally like changed into lounge clothes before I started to clean and sometimes I feel like that just gets me more in the cleaning mode too, is just changing into comfy clothes and just knowing that I'm going to be cleaning my home for our family. And it's, of course, it's always nice to be cozy, right? So just wiping down the fridge, there's always little fingerprints and like stickiness that gets on here because the kids help themselves two items in the fridge and freezer. So 
So finally we are doing the island and another thing I just wanted to mention about Narwhal because we've had it for about a month now um, since we've basically been back from the bay so maybe even longer than that and it's been amazing because you saw what that water looks like when you pour it out so you know it's doing an amazing job but like that is literally sweeping vacuuming mopping the floors for me so I don't have to do anything to the floors so it definitely gives me more time to work on the countertops and things like that. So the kitchen's done just wiping down some handprints on the um, sliding glass door right here and then moving on. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like with twin flames in a different I feel like a lot of times in my cleaning videos I forget to do like overviews of what the after looks like so I just wanted to show you how nice and clean everything is until the kids get home from school that is of course but it's nice to just start fresh if you think of your lives of your lives in shifts like you know we have basically the breakfast shift the a.m. shift and then the after school or like the after the kids get to school shift where you're like kind of picking up breakfast and like cleaning up the kitchen after that and then you have the lunch and the after lunch shift and then the after school shift so the after school shift for us is like a little chaotic as I'm sure it is for everybody like we have all the kids coming over from the neighborhood homework sports just all that kind of stuff but as I was doing the overview I noticed that this water tank needed to be filled so I filled it because I forgot to do it earlier and again just checking off some things early that would normally be on my night routine list. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me, it's in the dark. We dream of so the kids got home from school, we did our after school routine and all that, and now finally everybody's sleeping. It's about 9.30 at night, and I am just catching up on one load of laundry. There was another load to be folded and Chris wound up doing that one, but this is the girls' laundry. Sometimes I'll wash all the kids' clothes together and then when I'm taking it out of the dryer, I'll just make a girls' basket and a boys' basket to make our lives a little bit easier. Um, so that's just a little tip I have. When there's like a ton of laundry, sometimes I will do like each kid individually, but luckily it hasn't gotten that bad. Another tip I have that I always talk to you about since the beginning what six years ago when I started YouTube is to make cleaning more enjoyable if you have something that you can put on and kind of watch or listen to like a podcast or a YouTube video or like in the past I have put on Bravo app on my phone to catch up on Real Housewives so like if you can just make it more enjoyable for you you don't even realize you're folding clothes and watching something so I was watching something on my phone as I was folding and before the time lapse this video was nine minutes and 50 seconds of folding. So if you're new here, I just finished the Knock em Out series by Lucy Score and I was so sad it was over, but now I'm reading, I think it's called the Benevolence series and I love it. So that's another like thing that I do is like, I try to finish everything I have to do and then reward myself with something like reading my favorite book or just catching up. So. That also helps keep me motivated besides the fact of waking up to a clean house is just the best feeling and it's a great way to start your day off fresh. But yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick everything up and just, you know, when I'm done, I'm going to shower and read my book and it just helps motivate me st to stay on track. I'm not stopping and checking my phone or anything like that. One of my last videos, um, I'm doing a decluttering series right now if you're new here, and one of my last videos was decluttering all the kids' toys, the playroom, and um, 
the craft closet which is where we have like games and all the craft supplies and since doing that it has made like tidying up so much easier and more enjoyable I actually love cleaning the playroom I know it sounds weird but like I just love looking at all their little toys and setting up everything for them for the next day and just making it exciting for them they will pick up the um, playroom if we ask them to but sometimes you know you're just like all right it's time for bed like I don't I don't sometimes them cleaning the playroom leads to more cleaning when you're trying to get them up for the night routine and with four kids our night time routine can take a while so anyway I just I don't know it just makes me so happy it's just like picking up all their cute little stuff while they're sleeping and just you know loving their ages one of the tips that I gave in my decluttering video was like to have like your significant other help you because I tend to hold on to more toys because they're sentimental to me or because like somebody bought them for us and then I feel bad but Chris is like nope it's gotta go they haven't touched this in a year so he's more he's better about that I'm good with like clothing and like kitchen items and that type of stuff but toys are just really hard for me so it's definitely helpful that he is that way but also I noticed that the kids don't need all that stuff when they're here they're so happy and they play more when things are organized and not so overwhelming for them either. Sometimes in life and in motherhood especially, you feel out of control because there's so many things that you can't control. You kind of just have to have your home base and take what you can to control the chaos and for me controlling the chaos is just cleaning making things making sure we have what we need and keeping things in order and you know just doing the best that I can for my family and I always feel like if our home is in order and we're healthy we can take on anything that life brings us or god forbid the kids come home from school sick or something our home is in order um, where our groceries are stocked and we have what we need to be able to take care of them. So that's an another thing that just motivates me to keep our space nice and organized. You know, you come home from whatever type of day they've had at school and they know they can come home to a loving, clean home where they're going to be comforted and have what they need. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will put my content calendar on screen here so you know what's coming next. Yeah.